Hello, everybody. I hope that everybody is doing well. Uh, today's tidbit is going to be talking about the scoop on poop. Let's face it, we knew that this topic was going to come up eventually. <laughs> so just to start off with something fun, um, how many diapers will you use in the first year of your baby's lay? What do you think, in a million? No, I'm just kidding. If it seems that the majority of the time that your time is being spent changing diapers, you are not imagining it. By the end of the first year, you will have changed approximately uh, 2,300 diapers. So that's averaging about six to seven diapers per day. So what's the scoop? All of a sudden, you are starting to notice that all of your conversations have been uh, that you've been having is talking about poop. Uh, it is perfectly normal to be obsessed with your baby's poop. What comes out is almost just as pertinent as what goes in. Uh, the color and the frequency of uh, baby's poop is a good indication of your baby's health, diet, and general well being. So, how often does your baby poop? There's a wide variety of normal pooping behavior among babies. Uh, some poop right after a meal, while others um, only once or twice a week. But what's most important is that your baby's poop is coming out relatively uh, reasonably soft. Newborns often poop uh, after every feeding, so roughly six to 10 times a day. Frequency. It's normal for newborns to pass a frequent watery stools, um, which may be mistaken to diarrhea. So newborn intestines do not observe, absorb food very well, and much of it is excreted um, into the stool. After three to six weeks or so, um, absorption, absorption does improve, resulting in more of a thicker and less uh, frequent stools. Breastfed babies often have one to eight bowel movements a day with an average of four. Formula fed babies average two a day, but could have many more. Um, and they really only count them if they're larger than a quarter. So how long can they go before, before you start being concerned? So some healthy breastfed babies um, only poop uh, as often as, as every seven to 10 days. Uh, it's not a serious concern unless it goes uh, longer than your 14 days, uh, depending on who you ask. So you always want to make sure that you ask your healthcare provider if you're starting to get concerned um, or if they're experiencing any symptoms of discomfort. Are they content? Are they playful as usual? Do they seem a little bit more fussy or more uh, uncomfortable, especially after feedings? If your baby does not seem like themselves, so the, like losses of appetite or um, their tummy feels stiff or their tummy is tender, they might be constipated. Uh, when they finally do poop, make sure your baby's not straining or in pain. Um, and that his diaper uh, contents look normal. And we'll talk about that a little bit further on in this video here for you. Because breast milk has the perfect nutritional balance for your baby, there's very little waste produced uh, from it, which uh, translates to having fewer dirty diapers than an infant who would be formula fed. Formula fed babies should be pooping every day or every other day and they are more likely to become constipated. It's not how often a baby moves his bowels, but how hard the stool is once it's passed that is the cause for concern. We're going to go more into poop color. It is uncommon for an infant's bowel movements to vary in color from day to day. The color of the stools can depend on a variety of things. So uh, what a breast uh, feeding mom is eating, how hydrated the baby is, um, different uh, type and frequency of formula uh, that the infant is being fed. 
There's no need to worry if your baby's pooping pattern stays fairly consistent and they are acting like their normal selves. Normal is what is common for your baby in color, consistency, frequency, and the majority of the time. But if there's any sudden change or if you notice signs that they are uncomfortable or happy, just make sure that you check with your hair, a healthcare professional. So let's go into the different types of poops that you may see. So just to let you guys know, I added pictures and everything, so be prepared. <laughs> so number one would be your newborn poop, so the uh, meconium. Expect to find a greenish black, kind of they usually compare it to kind of like tar, so tarry sticky poop that uh, looks almost like a motor oil. Meconium is made of amniotic fluid, uh, mucus, skin cells, all that awesome stuff uh, ingested in utero. It doesn't really smell, so don't uh, don't be surprised if if you don't really notice much with with the diaper change. If you're bottle feeding, it may take longer for your baby to have his or her first poop, so don't uh, don't fret. It's coming on its way. Uh, but breast milk acts as a natural laxative, so breastfed babies typically pass meconium sooner. When your baby is two to four days old, uh, his poop will become lighter in color, uh, more sort of like an army green, and it becomes less sticky. This transitional stool is a sign that he's starting to digest uh, early breast milk or formula uh, that's in the in intestinal tract and everything is a-okay. Um, a tip uh, to kind of take off meconium because it tends to be uh, like we were talking about the tarry and really sticky. They're not kidding. So to try and help to remove that, uh, people suggest uh, Vaseline and uh, just to try it and apply it a little bit uh, during the diaper change and only on dry skin to avoid any trapping of moisture. So number two is healthy breastfed poop. So exclusively breastfed poop will be yellow or a slightly green and uh, have a mushy or creamy consistency. It can be runny enough to resemble like a diarrhea, that, but the smell isn't half bad. Breastfeeding poop typically, <laughs> it looks like it's usually compared to like a Dijon mustard or a cottage cheese, um, kind of seedy is what they usually say, um, mixed, and it may be dotted with a little bit of seed-like flex. Um, there are many shades of normal when it comes to breastfed poop, so uh, don't be alarmed of too much change. Uh, a greener hue uh, could signify that. Uh, you ate something differently than you normally do. And if your baby isn't experiencing any symptoms, then there's really no need to worry. If you see bright green and kind of frothy poop um, in your baby's diaper, uh, almost like an LJ, uh, they're probably getting too much for milk, uh, which is the low calorie milk that comes first uh, in feeding. And it's not enough of the hind milk. So the hind milk is higher in fat. Uh, it's more, it's the super nutritious stuff that they get afterwards. It can mean that you're not uh, feeding them long enough on each breast. And uh, to remedy this, you wanna start uh, each feeding on the breast until it's ended. Number three is healthy formula fed poop. So formula fed babies have a pasty peanut butter like poop with a brown uh, color spectrum. Uh, tan, yellow, brown, or greenish brown. It's more pungent than poop from breastfed babies. Um, and it's a, a little less pungent than uh, poop from babies who have been eating solid food. And you'll recognize that as they get older. Um, Number four would be iron fortified poop. 
if you give your baby an iron supp a supplement, whether it's iron fortified uh, formula or uh, when they get a little bit older going into the uh, iron formulated cereal, um, their poop may turn a dark green or almost black. This doesn't happen very often, but it is completely a, a normal variation um, that they said <laughs> Popeye would be proud of. Um, if mom is taking an iron supplement and breastfeeding, um, her iron level could affect the baby's poop as well. And if your baby's poop looks blackish and you're not taking added iron, it's a good idea to call the doctor just to make sure um, it's not uh, melina or digested blood. Number five is solid food poop. Once you start changing your baby's uh, input of solid foods, so like your rice cereal, parade, uh, you'll almost instantly notice a change in their output, especially if they are breastfeeding. Solid food poop tends to be uh, the brown or dark poop and thicker than the peanut butter that we kind of like texture that they were talking about earlier, but still mushy. Um, and it's also a lot smellier, so you will notice it right away. Number six is partially digested food. Occasionally, your baby's poop will have identical chunks of food, um, especially when you're trying different foods and they're going more into a texture than your puree. Uh, so obviously red could mean something like if you know that you fed them beets or orange, if you know that that day you fed them carrots. Um, dark blue, you may see pictures of, you know, for like blueberries. So not to worry, you're probably seeing this just because uh, it's the leftover of what they were just digesting of food that you gave them earlier on that day and it's just not completely uh, broken down. It also happens when your baby eats a lot of one type of food, especially when you're start you're starting your solids, you're usually just giving them one thing at a time. So you're giving them a lot of it all at once. So that's also a time that you would see that happening. Um, or if they're really um, not chewing as much in their mouth uh, and completely before they're swallowing. The time to call the doctor is if your baby's poop is consistently undigested food and it doesn't really change and if baby's not gaining weight um, and the doctor will check to make sure that your baby's intestines are absorbing food and nutrients properly. Number seven so looking into diarrhea, we've all gone into this mess. In babies, diarrhea is very runny and appears to be made out of water, whether than your solids, so very similar to like us. It can be yellow, green, brown, um, and create quite an episode. <laughs> the color may fade um, after several uh, filled diapers, so if they're they're sick it usually, usually is a sign of infection, an allergy, or some sort of intolerance. And if it lasts for uh, a while without really it being treated, it can be uh, led to dehydration. Call the doctor if your baby is three months or younger, um, has more than two or three uh, episodes in the diaper, um, and also includes like the symptoms of, of course, like vomiting or fever and dehydration. So you wanna make sure that you get them seen right away. Uh, if they continue having diarrhea for more than a day or two, um, or if it contains a uh, visual blood or mucus. Number eight is constipation. If your baby's hard and it looks like little pebbles, uh, they're probably constipated. Your baby may be visibly uncomfortable when they're pooping, and the poop may even be tinged with blood from irritation, and it's hard, hard for them to pass and move out, so um, that can tend to happen. Um, one or two pebbly diapers isn't to be a concern, 
But if your baby has uh, more than three, it's probably best to check in with your doctor. Constipation often happens in babies who are being introduced to uh, solid food. So new foods will do that. Their, uh, their systems are new um, and they're just getting used to everything. It can be a sign of milk or soy protein sensitivity or can be an intolerance to something in the breast milk or formula. What can you do to help your infant with constipation? Your doctor may recommend giving your baby a bit of water or diluted uh, prune or pear juice to help things move along. Uh, that really depends on their age and that's something that you wanna make sure that you wanna confirm with your healthcare provider if that's the step that you think that you're going to be making. Breastfeeding mums uh, to make sure that they are hydrated and could take prune juice too. You could try pumping their leg or gently massaging the tummy uh, clockwise for the colon. Skin to skin, so warming up that baby's tummy, getting some skin to skin in. Um, it does say here to use a Q-tip with Vaseline to stimulate around the bum, but with caution and also something that I would consider talking to your doctor uh, before uh, pursuing with that, of course and avoid laxatives unless recommended by your doctor. Uh, little ones don't really need it. A lot of, especially breastfed babies, um, that's your best natural way to get it going for them. Number nine is with mucus. So greenish poop streaked with shiny, kind of glistening. Um, you can tell it that it's very visibly mucky. Um, this sometimes happens when a baby is especially drooly. Um, since mucus is in saliva and often, it often really gets undigested in their tummies. But uh, mucus in poop is also a telltale sign of infection or an allergy. If it's accompanied by any other symptoms or shows up in your baby's diaper for uh, more than two days, then you want to make sure that you call the doctor to rule out any problems. Then number 10 would be bloody poop. So bright, uh, bright red can show up in your baby's poop for a few different reasons. Um, so you wanna make sure that you call the doctor if you notice the following. So uh, normal poop tinge with a bit of red, uh, which is often a sign of a milk protein allergy. Uh, constipated with a hint of red, likely to the result of um, just because it, it hurts um, it's hard for them to get out. It's a really hard substance. Diarrhea mixed with red, uh, which can indi indicate even a bacterial infection. Uh, poop consisting of um, entirely red. Um, so almost like a, they compare it to like a currant jelly, uh, which can indicate severe intestinal problems. Um, so obviously not to worry, first step is always to go to the doctor to figure it out, the earlier the better. Uh, when black, uh, black blood appears in a baby's diaper, usually it's in little flecks that look like um, small black poppy or sesame seeds. And it's often because the baby is breastfed and uh, swallowing blood from mom's cracked nipples. So obviously that's really common. A lot of us have been there. When you're not getting a proper latch and you tend to, um, tend to get uh, the cracked nipples, the baby will tend to, um, to kind of separate the blood from the milk. And so that's what you're seeing in the diaper. Well, this is a sign that you may have some uh, pain relief, it doesn't uh, pose a threat to your baby. Uh, still, you should call the doctor to make sure that it's not something uh, that's serious, um, like bleeding from the baby's intestines. Number 11 is chalky white poop. So it's very, very visual. You can tell that it's different, pale, chalky, clay colored. Um, which is a sign of liver or gallbladder issues, um, lack of bile. It looks and seems similar to like a 
like a tan play-doh these kinds of poops very very rarely show up but it's still good to know and make sure that you get medical attention right away what else may cause a change in your baby's poop? Well, lots of things, of course, right? So you're looking at your teething. It could be immunizations, a medication, um, and, and different things with mom and baby. So the more you know, just adding in this parent pro tip for you guys, um, it's not just a diaper change. It's prime time for socializing. This was one of my favorite things to do with my daughter. It is a guaranteed moment throughout the day where you get to kind of stop everything and all eyes are on baby. Spend quality one-on-one -on -one time and soak them in. Uh, it, it's kind of like a fun time and it makes it also a lot easier to just get through as they get older. It also gets harder to change their baby because they get really wiggly. Um, so just even starting it from the beginning will really help you later on as well. So it's time for smiling and talking and laughing, uh, singing, engaging, observing and pulling funny faces and just having that bonding time with your little one. Don't get stuck with a whole bunch of yuck. <laughs> so if it doesn't, uh, if it hasn't happened to you yet, I promise you uh, that a blowout is in your future. Uh, before leaving the house, also just make sure the double and triple check that you are prepared. So extra wipes if you have, onesies, extra clothing, uh, plastic or reusable reusable bag uh, to ensure that if any accidents do happen that you are prepared. Um, there's no predicting these things that always seems to be at the worst times. And that's like, seriously, I'm telling you a parent pro tip. <laughs> so thank you everybody for listening. Make sure that you look down below. There's always added links or information as to uh, where we got the information from and have a good day.